Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and if you're looking in the background, that is Tinkercad Circuits. I've been having a blast with these LCDs and scrolling text. I found a way to make two lines show up on the same screen. So let's get cracking. Friends, if you have not built the first lesson, I will have a link up above so you can complete that. It's super fast and it teaches us how to do the first scrolling line of text. If you do have yours completed, I always recommend choosing duplicate so you don't break what you already built as you experiment with your new cool skills. A real quick review, if we hit play, our screen pops up and says hlmodtech.com and let's get cracking. It repeats that forever because it was in a loop if we go to our code, it was this tiny bit of code where it took this character text up top and then it brought it in one piece at a time. Well, like I said, I wanted two of these, which we can do with a few simple steps. We're going to make this possible by copying the code we've already created and modifying it. I'm going to press enter down here so there's a few blank lines at 28, 29, and 30. Alrighty, friends, so let's get modifying. If we click code, what we're going to do is we're going to take this entire loop and we're going to copy it. Control C, Control V. Let's move down a couple lines. I'm going to do slash slash, which is a comment, and I'm going to type setup. And this is going to be called loop two. When we press Control V, we're going to change where it said loop to loop two. So now we've got two sets of text. The only thing is we need to get the definition of the text down there. So let's select the original variable text, do control C, move down into loop two. I'm gonna press enter in front of the unsigned and I'm gonna put it up at the top. Real quickly, I'm gonna take this and instead of let's get cracking, I'm gonna type hello there. Still have all my spaces. And then to make loop two show up, so in this blank space, I'm going to type loop2 and then do my parentheses and then you've got to have your semicolon. Make sure you do not forget that. So we hit play and boom, we've got two new phrases showing up on our LCD. But I want a phrase on each line, so let me show you how we're going to make that happen. First hit stop simulation and let's bring back our code. Next, let's move down to where we say clear the screen and let's press enter a few times, come up and put a couple slashes and let's put start line two. Line two is gonna be built the exact same way as line one. Let's copy all the way from the word unsigned until that bottom bracket. I'm gonna right click copy, I'm gonna click on line two and I'm gonna paste it. Our second piece of text needs a different variable, so I'm going to do the letter J. Wherever there's an I, we need to quickly put a J, including the one all the way down here at the bottom where it's J++. We also need to put our line of text like we did a moment ago. I'm going to put it up here in front of unsigned, so I'm going to press enter. And let's go back and find that text. And we're going to copy that line. And then we've got to find where it was on line two. So this is why we have those comments. And then we can't use the same variable name. So instead of text, we're going to call it text two. If we put text two here, we need to add it in the while and on the print. Real quickly, let's change our phrases. I'm going to do control X to cut out that second half of the first long line. And now I'm gonna paste it down here. Or actually, I'm just gonna reuse it because it was already there. hlmodtech.com, let's get cracking. I'm gonna add some extra spaces so that it shows up. You'll see how that works in a minute. And then I'm gonna leave hello there for a moment. I do wanna make sure that there's a delay. So let's type this in, D-E-L-A-Y. Once again, your parentheses, and I'm gonna have a delay 2000 milliseconds and then make sure you put a semicolon after it. I'm gonna copy that line and I'm gonna have it pause before it does loop two as well. Friends, it's time to hit play, hide our code and watch it happen. There's hlmodtech.com. 
let's get cracking is on the wrong line i'll show you how to fix that if we go back to our code the thing i forgot was when i went to line two i didn't change it to line two so this is a comment about changing to line two which we call one and then we also need to put it there friends let's hit start simulation hide the code there it is doing the first line and then it's doing let's get cracking it pauses clears the screen and says hello there let's hit stop and friends we need to take this start line two code and we need to add it to our second loop make sure you go from start line two all the way to the bottom of that bracket choose copy move to the bottom of line two we are going to delete the lcd clear that's there and then we can paste in that start line two i'm going to change hello there to hl mod tech youtube and then the second phrase is going to be thanks for watching And then let's hit play and test it out. There's the hlmodtech.com. Let's get cracking on the second line. It clears, and there's the HL Mod Tech YouTube, and there's thanks for watching. If I add a few more spaces, that'll push out further to the right. But that, my friends, is how slick this code can be. Super quick, I am gonna make a loop three as well. Control C. Control V. Of course, I need to mention that I am on loop three. And then I need to change it to loop three. And now I can modify my words and make the text even cooler. I'm going to move up here to the top. And I'm going to put this clear after loop two. So Control C, Control V. And then I'm going to copy all of those. Control C, Control V. And I'm going to call loop three. I'm going to change my words real quick off camera. Alrighty, friends. So that code has been modified. And check this out. HLModTech.com STEM Lessons for All. HLModTech YouTube. And let's get cracking. And lastly, thanks for watching. And like, comment, and subscribe. So my friends, check this out. If we hit stop, let me show you in the code the cool thing I figured out before I played this. So you may have noticed that my line two wasn't showing up where I wanted. What I did was I adjusted the set cursor to character 12 because of how long the earlier word had went. When I went to my second phrase, I found out that number 13 was the right number, and all I did was guess and check until I found the correct place to start line two so it looked the way I wanted. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, super slick steps to do multiple lines of text and have them scroll on a 16x2 LCD. Friends, don't forget if you make something cool and want to share it with me, you can invite me to take a look at it. Simply copy this link and send it to me. I am on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail at HLModTech. You can also find me on Twitter at HLTinkerCat. And last but not least, you could also visit the HLModTech.com website and just use the built-in messaging. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.